Hello, I'm Hacker the Bean, and today we are going to tumble. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. <sighs> Imagine being so iconic you create one of the most famous anime and sprung of all time. I didn't just dip out because you were like, nah, I'm good. I will say one of the benefits of being a Sailor Moon fan is that Naoko Otake Uchi is one of the is notoriously private. We go years without hearing anything from her, and when we do, she's just like, "Like you like Sailor Moon? Thank you," and disappears again. That's nice. One time she turned up out of nowhere to be like, "I think giving away free condoms to prevent SCDs is very important," and we're like, "What? Naoko Takeuchi?" But then she was already gone again. Very quick. I came up with a new saying. You wouldn't bake a cat just because it jumped into the oven. It means that just having a really, really good opportunity to do something awful is not an excuse to do it. That isn't enough that you never go out of your way to do evil, you're also supposed to go out of your way to do the right thing. Even in situations where the wrong thing to do would be extremely easy and profitable, and passively allowing it to happen would be easier than going out of your way to do better than, than that. Capitalism runs on cat outvents. Yeah, it does. We already know that. Little old Italian lady. Do you have a zucchini? Yes, right here. Is uh how much? Two ninety nine a pound. It's usually one forty nine. Yes, in the summer. Lady pauses and grabs two. I put it in a soup. Oh nice. What kind are you making? You will not fantasize about my soup. And then she walked away. Do not fantasize about my soup. Will be in my head forever. I love you, little old Italian lady. Oops. Women are so hard to please these days. Personalized playlists, handwritten love letters, pizza and movie nights, forehead kisses, words of endearment, late night walks and talks, loyalty, picnics, watch the stars, sunrise or sunset, cook slash bake together, flowers, cuddles. Why? Why is this? Why is this hard? A lot of this looks really easy to do, and like something that you could both find a lot of enjoyment out of. We really aren't, I promise you. Maybe we just aren't willing to put in forth the effort, take the time, or learn any of the million little ways to make us happy. Here's a hint, most of the things that make us happy are things that make you happy too. Crazy, right? <sighs> but even Rap City, we will rock you, somebody to love, all hit sick angles, and all the direct product of a band that was formed by a natural physicist and a, and a dentistry major, found a new friend in an art college, who then went on to recruit a fourth member from the electronics school. Based on this alliance, and I propose to rift in society between arts and STEM students which fabricates to keep us separated, so as to dilute our truth power. And fabricated by who, you may ask? The business major. 
the only member of society who reaps no reward from a modern science and thus must weaken us so as to stay ahead. In this essay, I will... Where's the essay, OP? Where's the essay? Why have you joined a random public Discord server? Oh, wait, hang on. <clears throat> Why have you joined a random public Discord server? And there was a channel called Get Alone with This Guy. And it was just screenshots of your posts. And people were doing like complex analysis on them. Hello, I'm Haku, and welcome to the Twilight Zone. A surprising result. A pair of, pair of paintings by William Henry e. Hamilton. Does it say Trude? Frisch. 1846 to 1899. This has been like a year and a half in, in a Victorian and reaction gif. Pretty much, yeah. Bill and I, the science guy, was my science teacher. When he came into class, we'd all chant, Bill, 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 but also, science, science, science. Then one day I went to class and Bill wasn't there. And it turned out he was fired. I found his apartment in a massive monolithic block and we had a heart to heart chat. He broke down into tears saying, I really liked being your science guy. Oh, 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 this is one time I dreamt. Wow, I missed that. I really like that your science guy sounds really poetic to me. It just sounds beautiful, and I don't know why. I don't think we will ever know. Oh no. <sighs> All right. Let's see what these uh, long pictures have to say. So I want to be horrified. I'd buy. Chat might legitimately be the first person, the first decade, fourth person, and oh no. Have I taught you guys that all my students say chat all the time? It's baked into their speech chat. Each patterns. Chat, is this real? A dozen times a day. Hey chat, is this real? Hey, at my little red girl and at Sigan and Pennyman, you two are my language friends. What the fuck does this mean? In this case, chat, as in... Twitch chat, like when Drew was talking to the chat, adds directly, like, hey chat, what's happening? Not sure what they meant by fourth, oh, oh no. I would consider chat a second person and plural, you all. But I could see the potential for defining it as a completely separate thing due to the nature of chat being an undefined person instead of a specific one. I don't know, it's fascinating though. Fourth person is referring to the hypothetical collective of people beyond the fourth wall. The fourth wall is the invisible barrier between the stage and the seats, the actor and the audience, and the actors. Break the fourth wall when they acknowledge the audience directly and acknowledge that they are a person playing character for entertainment. In some styles of performance, this should never be done, like opera and musicals, because it can collapse the weight and momentum of the story. In others, like improv and game shows, audience participation is encouraged because it's explicitly a collaboration. In the streaming era, in our 
and not of the kind of and culture, the fourth wall is extremely permeable in interesting new ways. Streamers aren't just playing to an audience, they're able to read and respond to messages from that audience too. It's a collaborative improv. There's a call and response. The audience knows the streamer relies on them for attention as they rely on him for entertainment. Them. For entertainment. So yeah, chat isn't second person, it's fourth. I'm referring to the you who that's here with me on the side of the stage. I'm referring to... I mean, I'm not referring to you that's here with me on the side of the stage. I'm referring to the people beyond this situation, watching our funny little problems. All the world is a stage now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, fourth person Frodo, let's go! Freaking love linguistics innovations due to internet culture. So we have a fourth earth person pronoun now. Isn't that amazing in the chat? Or I guess comment section? Which is a bit similar. And actually, it's kind of funny. I wanted to do stuff like this in, um, with my um, content when I, when I was first trying to start. Cat paw sandals. I want these. Cash, Yomi, and Kiku's uh, Ashiato animal footprint and sandals. AK, how to confuse forensics after you committed a murder. There are two kinds of people in this world. I'm just gonna wear these and go, oh crap, on someone's yard. Correction. Three kinds of people. If everyone, if every website I used to talk to my friends could stop eating crap and going to hell, that would be great. <sighs> yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Too bad for you. I love when things take forever to load. I recently found out why my mom would never sleep around me when I was a kid. Like she did never let herself take naps or sleep if if I was awake. Or if she did, she would lock her bedroom door. So when I was six, I was sleeping in my bed in the middle of the night when I hear a loud bang, like a pop being dropped and come out to the living room to see my mom standing by the window, just a huge pile of spaghetti all over the you still in the pot on the ground, and I'm like, Are you gonna eat that? And y'all she gets big mad and yells at me and chases me to my room, but then a little while later, a bunch of cops show up and ask a bunch of grandma's questions about my art. Like, this one and cop lady a keeps asking me to draw dragons for her, and they seem mad as hell. I don't want to get arrested, so I just never asked my mom for spaghetti after that. Lesson learned. Don't ask mom for spaghetti or she'll call the damn police on you. So I have this memory in my head, and it goes unquestioned until I say it out loud for the first time a few months back, and as soon as I say the words, when I was six, my mom caught the cops on me for asking for her spaghettis. My adult logic slams into place and is like, hang on. Your mother definitely did not call the police on a six year old for or asking for spaghetti. So obviously, that's not what really went down. I call all up my mom and tell her how I remembered it, and on top of her figuring out why her kid has always been really cagey around spaghetti for the last three decades, she tells me what really happened. So on that night, a man tried to break into our house through the front window. It was just my mom and her, her kids, so she, did, so she did what she felt she had to, and shot him in the head. He was wearing a helmet, which landed on the floor after under the window. Now I just want y'all to put yourself up in my mom's shoes for a minute there. This woman has just taken a human life. The trauma of that, the incident agony, the panic, the guilt, the fear, all of it hitting her at once. Her only solace is the knowledge that her children are safe. She protects her daughters, no matter the cost of her soul. Her children are safe. Then she looks up and sees her six-year-old staring at the inside of this man's head before saying, Are you gonna eat all that? <laughs> Someone add the reaction pic of the fast food employee at the drive-thru. Also, wait, why were the cops asking you to draw dragons? What wound up being the explanation for that censored childhood memory? Were the cops asking you to describe the dude and you uh, drew them a dragon instead? That's the detail that we need to come back to. I suspect they were trying to keep me busy and distracted while they clean up the corpse in the living room. Oh, fair enough. 
The Bob and Turbo are asked for taking. Being a light. I have a problem. Child. Mother, I would like to engage in cannibalism. I have another problem. I'm sorry for laughing, but this is actually really a ridiculous to me. I'm a per bad person who thinks bad thoughts like, like, ew, why is that girl wearing? I don't remember that I'm supposed to be positive about all things and, and think that she can wear what she wants. Fuck what other people say. Damn, girl, you look fabulous. And I'm just a teeny bit hypocritical, to be honest. I was always taught by my mother that the first thought that goes through your mind is what you have been conditioned to think. What you think next defines who you are. Read this, then read it again. Or listen to this and listen to it again. Alright, I think that's enough. That was r slash Tumblr. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!